Good morning. How is everybody doing? Happy Friday. Um, today, I want to give you a challenge. So we've talked about electromagnets. Um, and in the last video, I was able to create a magnet by wrapping wire around a core and then uh, attaching it to a power source, a battery, and by using a switch, connecting the circuit, um, and that allowed electricity to flow through the wire and that created a magnetic field. So it turned the magnet on and off. So today, I want you to explore electric motors. So here's what I've got. I've got an electric motor here. If you were in class with me, I would have given you one of these to explore, right? And so I'm going to uh, run a circuit uh, by connecting the wires directly to a battery. So, um, so you can see what happens. I'm going to attach a piece of tape here. Just thought of this this morning. I was like, oh, how can I show them that that works? Because in my chats with other kiddos, I've only been able to give them the, the sound. So when this shaft turns, when the shaft turns, it, it vibrates, it makes a sound. I don't know if that's gonna stay in there. All right, um, and so I got my battery and I'm gonna tip the camera down so you can, you can see this. And when I put this here, and I attach this here, <laughs> it moved. I need to make my flag a little smaller because the wires are getting in the way. All right, let's try this again. Connect that, that. I just need like one more hand. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Makes a lot of noise now. All right, so that works. You would have been able to mess with that um, in class. Um, and then, I'm going to leave that on there, and then in class, I would have, um, had you disassemble the motor. So these are very similar, right? Um, it's just this, uh, black tape or casing over top of this was taken off. So you can see the metal casing here, and then you've got this plastic cap here. And then you would have been able to totally dismantle. There it is. And so if you see this red part in here, and you know my camera is not the greatest, um, but the red part in there, that's wire. And so the wire is tightly coiled around a core. All right. And then this core or this, this inside um, fits in here. And what do you think those are in there? Those are permanent magnets. All right, so this fits, oh, and you can see like it's the metal of this part <laughs> gets pulled to the sides. Okay, so that fits in there. And then permanent magnets here on the sides, they're curved, um, are interacting with these metal cores that the wire is wrapped around. So what happens to an electromagnet when electricity is ran through it? Well, it creates a magnetic field. All right, so when it creates a magne magnetic field, these turn into temporary magnets and they interact with the permanent magnets 
and through a series of pushes and pulls, it rotates. Voila! So as the poles change with the electromagnets, as they get turned on and off, they interact with the permanent magnets inside here, and that propels them like a maglev train. The propulsion is an interaction between the two magnets' poles. So what supplies the electricity? So you got this piece right here, and you have inside the plastic cap. Oh, you just can't see that so well. There's two metal paddles. These are called brushes. Okay, and the brushes fit along either side of this metal part and they intermittently supply electricity and they turn um, the electromagnets on and off, change the polarity and that interacts with permanent magnet and so the axle turns like you saw with the piece of tape that I put on there. So I'm going to have you Find things in your house and make a list. I want you to put the list in the comments. Um, shoot for like five different things. You're trying to find objects in your house that have electromagnets, um, that have electric motors. Um, and so uh, some dead giveaways of things that have electric motors. Does it plug in or have an energy source like a battery? And does it move? So we're looking for something um, that has kinetic energy. Uh, a, good, um, a good way to tell is, does it rotate? So, you know, in, in these motors, um, this shaft turns, right? So sometimes it looks different, but what sorts of things around your house plug in or have, a, have an energy source and turn? I bet you can come up with a lot of things. And then... Here's the hard part. With your parents' permission, find a toy or an appliance, um, a computer that is broken, that does not work anymore. And I want you to disassemble it. Find the electric motor, dismantle the electric motor so you can get the pieces down to these three things. Okay, so the cap where the wires connect, this inside part, and the casing with the permanent magnets. See how it might look different than this, okay? Um, when you dismantle, then, I want you to take a look in the book. There's some diagrams here in the back of the book. So you'd log into FOSWeb and you'd find, you'd find them, okay? Um, and I'll give you some page numbers, right? So motor dissection looks like that, All right? So this is page 69 and on page 70, you got motor dissection B and that continues to page 71. So you're looking at page 69 to 71 about your motor dissection and you're answering the question, how does an electric motor work? You can also do research online too. If these diagrams in the book don't work for you, you don't quite understand, go ahead and um, look online um, for different sources. So um, my daughter Addie did this assignment too, and um, we were looking for a uh, something that had an energy source and moved um, that she could dismantle. And it turns out we just replaced one of our PS4 controllers, you know, the, the black thing or whatever, and it's got the, the, and the buttons. Um, and there was some breaking involved uh, that she wasn't quite comfortable with. So uh, we ended up using all sorts of prize and tools. And I think there was a, um, 
power tool involved to a drill. Um, so sometimes it can get messy. So remember, it needs to be something with your parents' permission and something that you are not going to use again. Um, so we weren't going to use that. Um, and so we found two motors, two electric motors inside there um, in that like right above the handhold, you know where you hold? On the front, okay? So right where you have the buttons. Um, and, and so yeah, there was breaking of plastic pieces um, and this is what we were looking for. Um, and the hardest part was this casing was on here like so. Okay, so this fit here like that. So we had to break this off of the inside and we had to pry this off because it was glued on. Um, and then we ended up with this and it was entirely sealed in this metal container and it had this plastic cap. Um, and there were like these prongs that were over the top of the plastic cap. There were four of them. And so what we ended up doing, um, you know, I'm, I was kind of rough on this one, was we had to pry, you can see there, we had to take like needle nose pliers and pry these grips off of the top of the cap. And then you pushed this out and this popped off. And the cool thing about this was um, in here, and I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, you can see the little metal brushes right there, right? See the little metal brushes? This goes to the power supply. So when we put it on the, um, the charger, um, it charges the battery inside. And then in here, there you can see the electromagnets. Um, gosh, I wish my camera was better. <laughs> um, the permanent magnet isn't two. It goes all the way around. Um, and you can see like there's a there's an end point. It must be like a like a flexible. So it makes a donut around the outside here. And then these wires are wrapped around a core and here's these metal pieces here and that's what turns it. And the thing that we learned that was kind of cool, um, and I, I can't get this off yet. Maybe Addie will have better success today. She's going to work on a little bit today. Um, this is a weight on the axle. Okay. And the, the other motor, which Addie has, has three of these on here. And so what happens is as this turns, um, it throws weight around. And this is what causes the vibration in the controller to let you know you died in a game <laughs> or you crashed into something if you're doing a driving game. Um, so I didn't realize that that was a mechanical piece in there. Um, so yeah, I learned that that was kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, and I can't like, I can't pop this out of here. You can see like, I can push this and it kind of pops it out a little bit, but I can't get it fully out because I can't get this little weight off. It's it's on that shaft pretty good. So again, you're answering the question, um, how does an electric motor work? You're searching for things in your house that have an electric motor and you're dismantling one that you don't need and you, you have your parents' permission. I want to stress that. This gets messy. Don't be afraid, if you're not going to use it anymore, don't be afraid to break it. Like, um, a lot of times these are assembled with screws and stuff, but you learn so much by disassembling something. And then for an, an added challenge, if you don't destroy it too much, can you put it back together? Or can you fix it? Like, if it was broken, could you fix it? Um, so this is a fun activity that really um, could be great. Uh, also, I want to remind you that um, there's a Zoom meeting today at one o'clock. We're going to talk about some ideas and ask some questions. I hope you'll join us. Um, yeah, have fun, guys.